How long have you been married to Mr. Bales? Uh, three years. And you have uh, two small children and another on the way, I see. Do you work as well? Only on a voluntary basis, at Playgroup. When did you first meet Miss Dingle? I saw her at the launch of my husband's task force. Then she confronted me in hospital after my maternity appointment. What did she say? She was shouting about how he treated her. Then she told him they'd had a baby. And was this the first you knew about it? Yes. Mark had already explained who she was when we came home from the task force launch. That she was rewriting history to take revenge on him for sending her to prison. He told you they'd had a sexual relationship? Yes. I was shocked. But he was in an unhappy marriage at the time. And he knew it had been a terrible mistake. After that, did you see her again? Yes. I was putting the boys to bed when I saw her outside in her car, watching the house. It happened seven times, because I started writing a log for the police. Ah, so you informed them then? Oh, yes. And they gave her a warning, but it carried on. I'd look out the window, and she was there. Not true. She's lying. Did you speak to her? I was scared to. Scared of what she might do to the children. But Mark did. I phoned him at work to come home, and he went over and ordered her to go. She got really angry. Could you hear the conversation? I was watching, in case I needed to call the police again. She said that she was going to destroy him. Take his job, his family, his house, his kids, and he could do nothing about it. Because she'd found something, someone, a, a secret weapon, that would turn his name into mud. So, what did you do? I discussed it with Mark, and he said the only thing she would listen to was money. So I suggested taking the savings we've been putting aside for the boys to pay her to leave us alone. So you knew about the money? It was your idea, in fact? Yes. She was an ex-criminal who hated my husband. I had to protect my family. How'd it go, then? As horrific as we expected, but she did great. How come no was at court? He just texted me from Joe's. Yeah, I know. Uh, both him and Ryan were there. Oh, my boys really came through for me. Anyway, I said my piece, Bale said his, and Chloe appeared as star witness. What, his wife? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Bought his lies, obviously. Poor cow. So it's up to the jury how they take it. So you didn't get, like, a, like a sense, then? Well, past them thinking I'm some piece of trash who gave birth at 13, uh, no, not really. Well, I thought they weren't allowed to bring that up. They didn't. Oh. Anyway, I don't have to sit here explaining everything for hours on end. Just scram the lot of you. I'm going to go upstairs, have a bath and watch some TV. Mum, you do know that I would have been there, right? Yeah, of course. Hey. I don't think Mum really wanted to talk about stuff, so I've come to get an update off you. Well, if Bales gets out, this is a dead man walking. Well, Vanessa said she did great. Well, he got his wife to lie for him, stitched her up. Well, Mum's been in court enough time, so I'm sure she was expecting this. You know, if you've got all this advice, then maybe you should have been there. Well, I couldn't be there, cos I couldn't leave Sarah. She was having a blood test. Well, shame is that, cos he made a big deal of Bale's arresting her when she was protecting Pete. Said she was doing this for revenge. Oh, right, so, so this is my fault? You asked how it went. I'm just telling you the defence is using it as a motivation. Brilliant. Well, thanks, Dad. I mean, like, I don't feel bad enough for not making a dog bails in the first place. Well, come on, you knew about her life. But that's what it always comes down to in an argument, isn't it? Tart, skank, prostitute, yeah, and I'm the best. I'm not proud of that now, well, You didn't do anything about it, though, did you? I mean, what? A child sleeping with older men? I didn't know her back then. She should... We lost touch. Whatever. You still knew about it after. It obviously still entered your head. You, she, it was abuse. She was a victim. And what did you do? Just use her to beat her with it? Yeah, she never told me. The details. I mean, if I'd have known what she'd been through, I, I would have helped her. I would, and I'm, I'm sorry that I'd, I didn't push her on it. You know, if she loses this, it's going to break her. How many men do you think 
old at five, ten. She left home. She had a baby. When you have a history of abdicating responsibility for your children. And did you serve a prison sentence? You confessed, didn't you? You would have said that you were in a relationship. Do you understand justice, Miss Dingle? She was soliciting on the streets by choice. 